اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم Study Selection and Inclusion Criteria Screening and selecting studies based on inclusion and exclusion criteria. Now, this is a very important part of a systematic literature review. Now, in this particular section of systematic literature review, we are going to discuss how do we screen the studies? What is an in- inclusion criteria and what do we do to exclude different studies from our systematic literature review? Now, once the literature search is completed, the next step involves a structured and a systematic process to screen and select the most relevant studies. Now, you cannot read, review 2,000, 3,000 studies or even 500 studies. We need proper inclusion and exclusion criteria. Now, initial in- screening, this involves reviewing titles and abstracts to remove clearly irrelevant studies. It helps narrow down a large pool of results to manageable number of further or for manageable number for further assessment. Now full text review. After the initial screening, the full texts of the potentially eligible studies are reviewed in detail to determine if they meet the predefined inclusion criteria. Now, as part of abstract, you may exclude those studies. Let's say I'm only focusing on empirical studies. Now the abstract in the method part of the abstract. I will know that this particular study has focused on interviews and there is no empirical evidence now in terms of quantitative uh, tools in this particular research. So I can exclude it. Now, documentation. It is critical to maintain a clear record of number of studies. Now, I've been saying this all along in these, this series or this whole systematic literature review course that we have to document everything whatever new search you do whatever reading you do and that results in inclusion or exclusion of something you have to record it maybe you put it in an excel sheet maybe you put it in a table in a word document but that will have to be documented now whatever you do and it results in the inclusion or exclusion of the studies you have to document it. Now, this is typically presented using Prisma, uh, preferred reporting terms or preferred reporting items for systematic reviews and meta-analysis flow diagram. We will discuss this later. Consistency and transparency. Now, screening uh, should ideally be done by two independent reviewers to reduce bias and increase reliability. Now, this is the ideal situation, but normally, the researchers who are working under supervision or doing their PhDs or maybe they are doing uh, some fellowships, they may not have access to people, uh, independent reviewers or uh, maybe research assistants. So they will have to do it on their own. Maybe they can obviously get it checked by some independent reviewers later as well. Now, disagreements are resolved through discussion by involving a third reviewer. Developing and refining inclusion and exclusion criteria. Now, clearly defined inclusion and exclusion criteria are essential to ensure the selection of relevant and high quality studies. Now, inclusion criteria. So, what is your inclusion criteria? It defines the characteristics that studies must have to be considered. For example, they focus on specific population. They have a specific methodology. Let's say I am going to select those studies that are based on survey where data is collected through different questionnaires. They fit a particular time period. So I'm only conducting or reviewing those studies that are done between 2001 to 2025. Language, let's say only English. Publication type, it's a journal article. Exclusion criteria. Now it defines what disqualifies a study from being included. For example, studies not peer reviewed. Maybe there are conference papers or viewpoints or editorials. They lack primary data and they have like, let's say, studies have secondary data only. And they have irrelevant geographic focus. Let's say I'm only focusing on Europe or Asia or Middle East. Alignment with research objectives. The criteria should be tightly aligned with research questions or objectives. Let's say I'm focusing on 
the outcomes of servant leadership now in this case those studies where there are no outcomes of servant leadership rather there is only an antecedent of servant leadership i will not consider that study pilot testing it is helpful to apply criteria to small set of studies during the development phase to test their clarity and applicability and then revise them as needed now again you can do a little pilot test on maybe 50 of those studies that you have downloaded and see how easy it is to select those studies and whether your criteria makes sense or not justification now all inclusion and exclusion criteria should be properly justified and documented now again documentation keep note of everything you do now while you are filtering your data based on these criteria make sure you document with each click what are the results now assessing study quality and risk of bias after selecting the studies the next step is to evaluate the methodological quality and potential bias within the inclu this included studies now quality assessment tools now there are different you can use standard tools appropriate for the study design such as CASP a critical assessment skills program or M star for systematic reviews or the Joanna Briggs Institute tools now risk of bias assessment this involves checking for issues such as selection bias performance bias detection bias and reporting bias scoring or rating some tools provide a scoring system to categorize studies as high medium or low quality now impact of findings study with high risk of bias might be excluded from a synthesis or may be included with caution and clearly identified in the analysis now if there is a high risk of bias you need to clearly mention it transparency as with selection assessment should ideally be conducted by at least two reviewers now again we have focused on this now if you cannot have two reviewers maybe you can get your methodology checked and reviewed by some experts now let's look at a few examples of inclusion and exclusion in some published studies now this is a prisma based review on economic social and governance practices insights and research agenda now these are some recent reviews on ESG again you may search some of the existing reviews that are there on your particular topic and that can help with some guidelines as well now moving on inclusion phase so here are the details of inclusion by the end of screening procedure a total of 85 articles have been identified and used as input for our analysis to ascertain that all relevant articles were included in our research the reference list of these articles were also examined and no other eligible articles were identified now again you have to be thorough you have to be very detailed now moving on if you look here they are explaining the articles by journals article by geographic focus and number of articles total percentage abdc ranking abs ranking now by country so you have to be very thorough you have to be very detailed now again let's look at some other examples if you look here let's normally uh, sometimes we have these diagrams as well so they searched proquest springer sage epsco taylor and francis emerald wiley and these are in the the timing of the search and these were the results and 2423 non-duplicate citations were screened exclusion of the title and keyword review obviously you can just review the abstract to find out whether that particular study fits the focus of your study or not and these were the articles excluded these were further articles reviewed excluded after abstract review now these were just keywords these were these are the abstract and then 91 articles were included finally now let's look at some other examples as well let's look at their methodology because they haven't presented any diagram now this is what they have mentioned these are the databases they searched and the years and again the number of papers that they got and then 
these are the empirical articles conceptual articles so they have described their inclusion and exclusion criteria rather than presenting it in a diagram now i personally would like to see a diagram in order to present to the reader a clear flow of how certain articles were removed and why they were removed and the final number presented as well so again there could be other examples as well which you can easily search online and find but this is one that i personally like whereby you describe everything in a flow chart or flow diagram thank you very much